What is going on today, everybody? It's Buddy here, and in this video, you guys are gonna learn how to make a super cheap vacuum leak smoke machine that is super handy in finding hidden vacuum leaks in your vehicle. So enough talking, let's jump right into the video. This is everything you guys are gonna need here to make your vacuum leak tester. Now the first thing, we're gonna need a drill with the drill bit on it. You're going to need a soldering iron. You can get this for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Also this pump here. Now this thing is super cheap and get on Amazon for like 13 bucks. A hot glue gun, just an old piece of fabric. You can use a sock and in this case, I'm just using a ripped up blanket. Also some kind of jar, I just have a pickle jar here and we're gonna need some baby oil. If you don't have baby oil, you can actually look under your brother's bed. You'll probably find some there. And the last thing you're gonna need is this little hose connector. I'll show you guys exactly where this thing comes into place in a little bit. I'm gonna put a link for all this stuff in the description below on Amazon so you guys can just grab it all at once and be done with it. So the first step is to drill a hole right here in the middle of our jar cap so we can fit our soldering iron in there. So we're gonna take our drill and we're gonna drill it right here in the middle. Now with most soldering irons, there's going to be a screw right here that holds in this little pin on the soldering iron. So we're gonna to need to take a screwdriver and we're gonna go ahead and take this screw out. And that's gonna give us access to pull out this tip. Now with our screw out of the way, we should be able to just slide this right in here. It looks like we just need to drill it out just a little bit more. And a perfect fit. So at this point, we're gonna take our hot glue gun. We're gonna fill all this area up with glue to make it nice and airtight and keep the soldering iron into the cap. Now, once we got a bunch of glue down there, we're gonna go ahead and just press it down and hold it until it dries. And once it's dried up, we can go back and we can just put a little more glue right here on the edges to make sure it's nice and airtight. And once our glue around here is all dried up, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew the cap of the jar and we're gonna put a nice thick layer of glue right here as well. So we'll take our glue gun and we'll just shoot it right around. Now at this point we can go ahead and drop the tip back in our soldering iron and screw it in place. And after we're done with all that, we're gonna take one of our hoses and we're gonna fit it right in here. So again, we're gonna to need to take our drill and drill a hole. And then that drill bit is not big enough to fit this hose in, so we're gonna to need to ream it out a little bit. And perfect. So we're just gonna press it in just a little bit. Just needs to go barely in there. And then we do the same thing on the other side for the other hose. So we're gonna take our drill again and drill a hole right down. And beautiful. And after we got our tubes in there, we'll go ahead and get these all nice and gunked up with some hot glue. And then let's repeat the process with the hot glue gun on the inside of these tubes. Now with our cap off, we're gonna take our piece of cotton here, whether you got that ripped up blanket or that old sock, and we're gonna stuff it in here. Then we're gonna take our baby oil, and we're gonna douse this down. Now after we got that all filled up, we're gonna take our cap and we're gonna screw it back on. And let's go ahead and test this out. And one thing I'm gonna to do to make my life a whole lot easier is I'm gonna cut one of these lines a little bit shorter just so I don't have to mess around with these long lines. Perfect. So how these little hand pumps work is they suck the air from the top and then they push it out the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and hook the bottom up to right here so we can push air through the jar and out this line. So let's go ahead and plug our soldering iron in and get it nice and filled up with smoke. All right, so a few minutes have gone by and we've collected some smoke. So we're gonna take our little pump here and we're just gonna pump it. And you can see the smoke pours out. That's a nice thick layer of smoke too. So that's gonna show us any vacuum leaks we have in our system. So now it's time to put it to the test. So what I did is I already took this intake tube off that goes from the air box to the throttle body. So we have our throttle body exposed. So let's zoom in right here on the throttle body. So most throttle bodies have one hole. This one has two obviously. So we're gonna need two gloves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the glove and wrap it around the opening of the throttle body. And then we'll slide our hose clamp right here over our glove. And we'll go ahead and tighten it down. And then repeat the process here on the second hole. So now all we gotta do is hook up this line here to any part of the engine. So I took off this vacuum hose, so I'm gonna hook up here. So I got this clear vinyl hose here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right in here and it fits absolutely snug. Nice tight seal. 
And then we're going to take this little hose connector that I showed you guys earlier, and we're going to go ahead and hook up these two lines together. We got to widen these hoses because they won't fit here over this connector. It's just a little bit too thick for these hoses. So a little trick, we're going to take some needle nose pliers, take a little bit of baby oil, put some baby oil on the tip. That's what she said. Shove our needle nose pliers in there and just twist and push. And then we'll pull our pliers out and stick our hose connector in there. And that's it. We got a nice tight seal on this line. And we'll do the same thing here on our line that's hooked up to our smoke machine. Pull our pliers out and hook the lines together. And now it's time to pump our smoke here in the engine and see if we have any vacuum leaks. Now you can see guys, our glove here is filled up with air, so we do have a pressurized system here. We are not seeing any smoke come out from anywhere. So since there's no vacuum leaks in this whole engine, I'm just gonna undo this cap a little bit to mimic an oil cap seal leak. And now I'm gonna pump the engine with smoke. And you can see right away there's smoke coming out right there where the cap is. And as always, be sure to hit the little thumbs up button here under the video. It really helps me out more than you guys know. And also definitely consider subscribing. I got some pretty cool videos here up on the screen that you guys will probably like. So definitely check my channel out and see if it's something for you. Until then, have a good one guys.